are inspired fragrances better than the originals? Well, if you like saving money, you might want to check out this video. Let's go! Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBear Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already, go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want to thank you for rocking with me so far. Let's continue the journey this week with a fragrance inspired by Tom Ford's Oud Wood. So this week's review is going to be on... Barrett Fragrances and Heartwood. Heartwood is inspired by Tom Ford's Oud Wood. So one night I got a DM on my Instagram account from the owner and CEO of Barrett Fragrances, Ross Barrett. He asked me if I wanted to uh, review a couple of his fragrances. I said, of course, obviously I'm always interested in reviewing fragrances. So he kindly sent me Heartwood for my review as well as some other samples. So I want to thank you, uh, Ross, for reaching out to me and contributing to my vision and my channel. Let's continue the review of Heartwood. The mission of Barrett Fragrances is to make high-end fragrances accessible by offering a premium experience without the markup. As we all know, fragrances cost a lot of money. They can uh, be wonderful things. However, they can also put you in debt. So I always, always, always like when companies and perfumers and individuals come up with economical solutions to the fact that, yes, I want to smell good. So I appreciate the fact that Barrett Fragrances is taking this into account. The nose behind the fragrance is Ross Barrett. The notes for heartwood are oud, rosewood, sandalwood, cardamom, vanilla, pepper, it doesn't say what kind of pepper, it just says pepper. Vetiver, tonka bean, and amber. Sizes and prices, you can get a 50 ml bottle of Heartwood for the astounding price of $49. That's right, $49. This is inspired by Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Oud Wood, of course, costs a lot more than $49. So if you're into saving money, Heartwood might be the way to go. So let's give Heartwood a sniff. It is my scent of the day. I just sprayed it on this sample card here five seconds ago to remind myself of the opening. On first spray, Heartwood and Oudwood, because I have it on this sample card here, are almost identical in the opening on first spray. Heartwood really captures the earthiness of the vetiver and Oudwood is a little bit more astringent in its opening. So Heartwood, I believe, in the opening is a little smoother and a little bit more well-rounded in the opening of the fragrance. Whatever pepper is being used in Heartwood is a little cleaner and a little less spicy than the Szechuan pepper used in Oudwood. Uh, it makes it for a little bit of a smoother ride and I believe just a tad, just a tad more classy. Heartwood is a little bit more airy than the original Oud Wood, uh, and I think that makes it more breathable, if that makes any sense, on the skin. Um, I think Heartwood is great for casual use, school, work, church, um, but I also think, I also think that I would not pull for Heartwood in formal situations. I would still pull for the original Oud Wood in formal situations, in professional situations. I just want to associate the original with special occasions, professional occasions, um, formal occa occasions that demand a little bit more attention to detail. I want to associate the original fragrance with situations like that. Heartwood is not a projection monster, which is in keeping with the original. The original is not a projection monster either, not at least not on my skin. It is present, but it's not a projection monster. It does not go out five feet or so. So Heartwood is in keeping and is in lockstep with the original Oudwood as far as projection goes. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I think Heartwood is better than Oudwood. I think that inspired fragrances clearly lack the inherent creativity and the original intent of the original creations. However, inspired fragrances do serve a purpose. They do serve a purpose for those who want to smell good, but are often hindered 
by financial considerations, which is the mission of the company. They want you to smell good. They want you to experience higher end fragrances, but they don't want you to come and bust out your pockets and go into debt doing so. All in all, honestly, I think this is a pretty solid release from Barrett Fragrances and Ross Barrett. Will I be wearing Heartwood? Yes, I will. I absolutely will. I can see it. Uh, now I'm going to be wearing it to the office. I'm going to be wearing it around the house. I'm going to be wearing it out. I think this is a solid fragrance release by Barrett Fragrances, and I am going to give it a 7 out of 10. If you are interested in looking into Barrett Fragrances, I'm going to leave their website in the description. Of course, I want to thank Ross Bear for reaching out to me and sending this for my review, Heartwood for my review. As you guys know, all opinions are my own. I do not give favorable reviews for a product. I will never do that. You have my honesty. You have my transparency in all of my videos. Shout out to each and every one of you that drive me and keep me going on a weekly basis. Again, my thanks and sincere appreciation to Ross Barrett and Barrett Fragrances. That's my time. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you next time.